started. This is part two of March 5's R&B Soul of a Man here on Sador Radio every Thursday, the first and third Thursday from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. Tonight, we're going to go over probably to like 12, 30, 1 o'clock, knowing me and Simply D, because we got a lot to say. It's been a while since we were free to use certain words and talk about certain topics, because of course, you know both of us from Sador Presents Open Conversation Show on Thursdays, the first and third Thursdays on Sador Radio, and also we're live here on Facebook Zoom. And if you missed any of the shows, you can go back on YouTube and check out Sador Radio and look at all the shows that's affiliated and associated, probably the same damn word, but I went to Mifflin. <laughs> <laughs> you can check out all the other shows on YouTube, search Sador Radio. So as we were on break, I was talking with Simply D and looking at some of the posts on uh, Facebook Hi to all our viewers. We got some viewers. And if you want to chime in, please don't hesitate to type in your opinion about what we're talking about. One of the topics I wanted to talk about tonight was there's some holes in this house. There's some holes in this house. I'm noticing this new song from, uh, who is it? Cardi B and what's her name? Stallion. Megan okay. Stallion. They got a song where they doing some stuff and they saying they want to put it in their mouth and hit the back of the thing and they mouth throat and all this good stuff, which of course I'm a man. Let's get this understood. I'm a man. That's impressive to me. But we don't need that to be all in the public and have our kids and stuff dancing on TikTok talking about they want to take a dick to the back of their throat till you hit the little thing that's hanging from the back of the throat, whatever way the words go. And then you have, yeah, you haven't listened to the words, bro? Listen to the words. I don't even really know the song. The song is deep. She's saying that she want to take something to the back of her throat and hit the little thing that hang in the back of the throat. You, She want one of, you know, yeah. Wow. It's, it's. I've never thought about that little thing in the back of the throat to the chick talk about, you know. So now to all you guys that's trying to do that now, that's choking y'all females, y'all dead damn wrong. <laughs> so... Y'all should not let a song piss off your woman and choke your woman like that. That's not nice <laughs> at all. <laughs> but wow. I'm just trying to understand why is it such a big song? Why is it that I see little girls dancing on TikTok? Why is it that I know that little girls know these words? Because when I first heard it, I looked at my granddaughter and said, yo, I broke it all down. Number one, don't call yourself no hoe. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Number two, I better not see you dancing off of TikTok on the floor. Uh, what's the words that you use when you're humping on the floor? Even though I know we had Bobby Brown and we had our people doing right. that. But when you're nine and five and six and 10, exactly. you your ass should not be humping on no floor because of some song. Woo. And Man. then they use the chorus says, it's some holes in the house. Now what's happening is I see a bunch of little girls dancing saying there's some holes in this house. When we work hard as parents to try to teach our children not to call themselves those type of names, but now you have a song that's out. And I'm not, trust me, one thing I'm not is a hater, but at the same time, when I see something that's causing destruction to children, I have a problem with it. Exactly because we're supporting it because you see adults on there dancing about there's some hoes in this house. Now right. I did see some people have a twist to it where they said there's some chores in this house and they got a broom and they passing dish detergent to kids and they're trying to flip it. Okay. That I like because I understand that, you know, we have to try to, we're never going to control idiocy if that's a word. Yeah. <laughs> Look, yeah. You understand what I mean? So what yeah. we have to do is more so take that and try to change it around, you know, to something more positive and try to flood the gates more positive than negative. You well, know, here's, here's, here's my take. You know, uh, again, as we, we were saying previously, when you're in a certain position and people look up to you, why would you put a message out there like that? I don't care how, it's like you selling yourself, as they say, to the devil, just for a dollar. 
You know what I mean? Because why would you represent yourself like that knowing that you have followers as young as six and nine years old that are going to be listening to this? Why would you do that? I, I Real quick, Alicia, I know. I know that song was a remake because that was used to be a club song back in the day that he used to play. Uh, There's some holes in his house, which that's understandable. You know, and I think it's to the point now that what we're going through in life, trying to educate our children, trying to build up the African-American, Black, whatever you call it, community, now is not the time to put stuff out like that. Exactly. You understand what I mean? Like, even when you think about NWA, they used to have, was it NWA? They just ain't shit but whole. That was Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg you had something yeah. like that out. And we let it fly. And it's amazing that sometimes I think when we're, because I never paid that no attention at that time. Because right. I wasn't on the level that I am now. And it's, it's funny how when we have, uh, she said she didn't dance to it then when it was in the club. And what it is, is I think now because we have so much access to knowledge like when we were you know not telling my age but we had access to computers but we didn't have access now to so right, much right. knowledge right and they said about the ice cream truck what's that <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah and that's a slave song or something mr eat your watermelon a good watermelon or something that that song was right. who yeah. would ever think that we were running and uh to an ice cream truck that was playing that type of that type song. of music yeah you know so now we have access to knowledge now kids could pick up a phone and program it a tablet and program it at five six years old so now is the time to feed the children more knowledge more you know positive things so it can pass on we right. might never see the strength of our great great grandkids because we might be dead by then but we have to start that cycle of education to educate right. them to not accept certain things like holes and being called bitches and you know uh tricks or whatever you know right. it comes to a point that you have to say you know what enough is enough mm -hmm. you understand what i mean if i basically exactly. said to somebody yeah nigga everybody get upset that don't like the nigga word right so what's the difference from bitch holes uh, what's the other ones? Tramp, slut, all that. What's the difference? Right. What is the difference? It's There's a, a, a degrading word is a degrading word, no matter what it is. It's degrading. Exactly. Or the contents that you use it in, it's still degrading. Exactly. So, but I'm looking to go in into the studio and record a song like that. Yeah, okay, it's a remake. Whoever made it was wrong too. You know what I mean? But for these these two individuals, especially. Well, I'm not even gonna say especially for those two individuals because Carly B is big time. I don't even know who the other person is. You know, she she the one that got shot in the foot. They said by the bull, supposed to have shot in the foot. Okay, okay, it's her. Yeah, she's the All one. Right. But you know who your audience is, and you know because you're putting it out there, people are gonna gravitate to it. So you shouldn't have done it. This you just shouldn't have done it. Yeah. Oh. But it's to the point now that people are going to do things and sell themselves short All for because a of a dollar, which yep. is like, you would think that certain certain queens, because I'm still going to call them queens, they just misunderstood. They just need to understand how much power they have and what mm -hmm. they can do, what level they're on, you know, to the point that they can make a change and they can help. Uh, some of these young ladies right? You know, they can help some of these young ladies and it's alright to make certain songs to you know to, to do things as long as you're not degrading yourself one right? you're not de degrading your people you know what I mean that's, so that's, that's something I just had to jump on real quick but let's get to this uh, relationship thing far as relationships what you want to talk about when it comes to relationships bro um, I'm talking about how these chicks always complain about the guy that they with, but then they go right back to him. <laughs> my, my, my thing is, is, is 
if you're not happy with it, first of all, you need to be happy with yourself. That's number one. You cannot get with somebody and expect that person or put on that person to make you happy because that's not what a relationship is about. The two of you are supposed to be happy about your lives. You're supposed to come together as one and be happy together. I'm not a clown. I'm not a musician. I'm not here to make your ass happy. You know what I mean? So when women say, oh, I'm leaving you because you don't make me happy. What? You're supposed to make yourself happy. I'm not here to make you happy. I'm not here to make you miserable, but I'm not supposed to make you happy. You know what I mean? That's so they, they, they complain about the dude that they with. Oh, he don't do this. He don't do that. Why are you with him? Why are you with him? Or why are you with her? You know what I mean? Yeah. Cheating should not be an option. Let me say it again. Cheating should not be an option. If you're not happy with the individual, end the relationship and find someone else. Alicia said, balance each other life. That's what it's supposed to be about. About, about balancing each other out. Right. And one thing that I can't stand is stop posting how miserable you are, how this dude is that, this and that. Yo, stop posting your stuff on social media. Yep. Then you make yourself look like an ass because then next week you be hugged up, booed up. Talking about, oh, me and my boo-boo. And you done made yourself look like an ass now because you done sat there on Facebook or whatever, complained about your relationship. Right. Like, people really care that you're going through what you're going through. No, you're entertaining them. They're going to laugh at you and they're going yep. to keep it moving. And some are going to laugh at you and try to knock your dude off. So, or, or your female. <laughs> yeah, or your female. So stop yep. putting your relationship problems on social media because it's not your counselor. Call your best friend up. Talk to them on the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Like you said, Facebook is not a counselor. You need somebody to talk to. I got a cash app. $70. <laughs> I, can, I can talk to you. <laughs> well, you said I'll be your counselor. I don't have no problem at all. Be your personal counselor. At least you cash app saw that last week. <laughs> you saw somebody do that last week. It, it's I don't I don't understand. Like, you know, and somebody told me something. You know, oh, somebody said to me, they said, you know, people put up their issues on Facebook and say, pray for them and all that. What's up, my man James? We talked about you earlier. He just put a laugh and a laugh. <laughs> so it's it's funny because I, I I'm trying to figure what do they try to what do you get from that? What do you get from posting, oh, I'm tired of this chick, or oh, you know, this and that. It's like, what do you get from it posting on social media? Are you trying to impress another female so you can get the draws? Is that the whole game plan that I'm miserable? Then you call up, yeah, like I was saying on Facebook, babe, that chick getting on my nerves. <laughs> so what you doing tomorrow night? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the game plan? I mean, I, I, you know, like I'm trying to figure that out, you know? Right, right. <laughs> And it's not, and let's get an understanding real quick. It's not like, and, I, and I'm going to put this, it's not like I lived this Bill Cosby life. Yo, I was a dog. I didn't got hurt. I didn't hurt. I didn't did dumb shit. I didn't did all those things in life. Because you got people that say, oh, you just don't understand. Trust me. Trust and believe me when I tell you. I understand. But at the same time, you should not be 55 and 60 years old on Facebook talking about some, oh, this chick, this and that. Like, seriously, man. Like, exactly. stop. Stop. Exactly. It, 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 at some point, first of all, you shouldn't be involving other people in, in your relationship because that's a no-no right there. Your relationship is not going to work if you have a whole lot of people in your ear or in your woman's ear trying to tell you this, that, and the other. It's not going to work. And as you said, we've all been there. Uh, I had my heart ripped out of my chest a few times. You know what I mean? Um, just recover from, from something not too long ago. So we've all been there. Experience is the best teacher. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And when you go through something, it, 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 I think it, it shows you, who one, who you are. Right. Two, what you want in life and from the next relationship that you get involved with because you should realize the mistakes that you made. 
right. and correct those mistakes and moving forward, not make those same mistakes with the next relationship that you get into. Right. You know what I mean? So, up, Jay? Jay said, hey, y'all. Uh, what's up, man? So that's very important. And, and um, I think throughout the years, all the relationships that I've been involved with, and especially the last one, has taught me a, a, a great deal on how to uh, um, to be in a relationship. That's why I said you got seventy dollars. You cash at me. I can talk to you. I can help you. <laughs> and that's the part that people don't realize. Real quick, y'all listening to Mark Five's R and B Soul of a Man show the first and third Thursday from ten p.m. to twelve a.m. You're watching us live on Facebook. If you just jumped on, we're recording this. It'll be on Sador Radio. YouTube channel, and you're also listening to us on Sador Radio, the station that's more than music. My name is Mark Five. That's Mr. Simply D on the other side that you hear, the other voice. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. Sador presents Open Conversation Show, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. every first and third Thursday here on Sador Radio, the station that's more than music. So, uh, yes, experience is the best teacher. Uh, James said, preach it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's true. And what makes me upset is that people will listen to people that have no freaking experience. None. But when somebody that's been through some things, not saying that we've been through everything, but we've been through some things and we don't have any problem with saying what we've been through, the bad and the good, because like I just said, if you just jumped on the radio or you just jumped on this live, I've done some things that I'm mm -hmm. not proud of. And I've gotten things done to me that I'm not proud of. But I also learn from my mistakes. That's why I have uh, next month, 18 years married, you know, because I've been through things. I've done a couple dumb things and pissed her off, too. And this is what you have to realize is that nobody's perfect. Nobody is perfect. Nobody's perfect. It's some things that you can get past and some things that you, you just can. can't get past. We understand that. And, and and let me say this, and 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 I hope our listeners or whoever listens to this after the fact, if you're looking for the perfect man or perfect female, they're not out here. You're not going to find them. Everyone has some shit with them. Everyone has faults. Correct. Nobody is perfect. So stop thinking that you're going to find the perfect person. You may find a person that fits with you, or you may be willing to put up with certain things. Exactly. Simple as that. Exactly. And that's the part that uh, people have to stop doing. Stop thinking you're going to get in a relationship and change a motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, that, stop. 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 Uh, <laughs> let me let me let me answer this let me let me answer this question right here because I, I I've just seen this again recently on Facebook somebody put it up and the question was can a woman change a man and is will a man be willing to change for a woman let me say this a woman cannot change a man the man if he feels as though he has the right woman he is in love with that woman that's the woman he want in his life, he will change. Okay? <laughs> he, will, <laughs> he will Absolutely. change. Absolutely. And I'm going to tell you why. Because now he realizes <laughs> what he has. And he realizes that he doesn't want to lose that. So all of the other shit that he used to do, he's going to stop. Because Absolutely. he wants to keep the woman that he has in his life and he knows, number one, she's not going to put up with that shit. Number one. So if you're not the right woman, he's not changing. Simple as that. That's some real talk right there. <laughs> <laughs> I am a perfect example. And I'm not saying I'm perfect. I still have some faults that I'm working on. You right. understand what I mean? But at the same time, for example... A lot of females out here are nice looking. Right. A lot of beautiful women out here. A lot of women doing different things in life. Doctors, lawyers, nurses, making money, making moves, all that. That's all good. 
But when you sit there and you be like, damn, and then you think about those things, like you just said that your woman do, nah, I'm cool. <laughs> exactly. I'm cool. Exactly. So, but if you women don't do certain things, understand this. You know, because I run into and no shots fired. Yes, it is. It's shots fired. Shit. Like, <laughs> look, if you don't do certain things like cook and more so try to please your man far as when I say please, let's get this understood. Sexually, yes. I don't give a damn what nobody say. If a woman, if a man say, yo, I'm not worried about the sex. Yo, that's bull crap. That's a big part of the relationship. And not just sex like humping and got to do this and that. Romance is very important also. Exactly. I don't know why women think that men don't like romance. Like we just want to bang it out all the time. No, men love romance too. You know, mm -hmm. we like for little things to be done, candlelight dinners and all that type stuff. Yep. We like that stuff also. Stop thinking exactly. that it's a one-way street. No, it goes both ways. It goes both ways. So you might get some boys that like, oh, I ain't into that, this, that. I'm thug life. That's bullshit. <laughs> That's bullshit. Men yeah. love to be romanced and rubbed and back rubbed and shoulders and all that type stuff too. So you know what I, I, I think when they be like I'm that you know I'm that thug and all that, it's because they never had anyone to do that type of stuff for them. You know what I mean? If they got a real woman, and a real woman shows them how to really love, that that ass gonna change and be like, oh man, because I've heard brothers say, oh man. She did this, she did that, blew my mind. I never had nobody do that before me for, before that and do that for me before. Mm. You know what I mean? Right. And now they understood. You know what I mean? Now they know now they're starting to see what true intimacy is, and it's not just about fucking. Yeah. Now they now they're getting it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Because now they got a woman who's educated on a whole different level about what true love is, what true intimacy is, and she's showing him, you know, what it is. Mm -hmm. Because sex starts before you get to the bedroom. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And a lot of people don't get that. Absolutely. Sex starts before you get to the bedroom. Yeah. And just Educate like look, look, just like y'all females say, y'all know what man y'all want to sleep with within the 10, what did they say, 10 minutes or something like that, a woman can look at you and know they want you physically. What makes you think that a man, a man, let's get this understood. We're talking about men. We ain't talking about boys. We're talking about men. Don't feel the same way that they can look at a female and be like, wow, you know, that's, that's, she's an attractive woman. Or their, their mind just went somewhere else as far as like, wow, she, I wonder what she about. And then when you add on that romance and that conversation, you know, because I don't know why people don't understand that when you have a conversation with a man, or a woman have a conversation with a man, vice versa, that that's important. Don't nobody want to talk to nobody and you're educated and you're building a business and you're trying to grow in life and you're talking to a female like, yeah, uh-huh, I don't know about snap that, that. Yo, get that right. shit out of here. Don't no man yeah. want that for real, for real. You, you, you don't fit me. You don't fit what I'm about. <laughs> you, you do not. Because I can't take you nowhere. <laughs> nowhere but to the bedroom. That's the only place I can take you. And that's you know the I mean? part females don't realize. We look at all that. Exactly. We look at all that just like y'all look at our shoes and our watch and our nails. We listen yep. to the conversation and we look how you represent yourself. And you and booty shorts and stuff like that might make us go, damn, all right, cool. But that ain't something like, damn, you know what? I want to take her to the bank and marry her and build a life with her because she got a booty shorts on or she got yeah. her titties out. So I'm impressed. Oh, that's uh -huh. wifey material. Uh-uh. <laughs> and like, like you said, with 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 if you somebody who's on 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 a, on a certain plateau, um, and you're trying to do something in life, the first while you standing there talking to her, you looking at her, you you're thinking, oh yeah, I can take her around my friends, I can take her around my family, I can take her to a business meeting that I go to because she's gonna compliment me and make me look good. Right. You know what I mean? Not have the people look at me like, no, he didn't come in here with this. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we look and think about all that as we're talking to you. Exactly. Some of us. Some of us. What's up, Dorthina? I call her Dot. <laughs> Look, yeah. She's on. 
Our people are on tonight, Simply D. Okay. Uh, Alicia says she do her feet twice. She do her guys' feet twice a month. Oh. Now see, look, look, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you say anything else, I just want everybody to realize when I said that, did you see Simply D go, oh, that's <laughs> the stuff we talking about. That impresses real men. That's why I wanted y'all to catch that. Like, we ain't go, okay, and start talking. When I told him what she did, it was like, oh, it's impressive to a man. Yeah. You understand what I mean? So, so I hope y'all females are taking notes right now because we're dropping some jewels. We ain't on no Steve Harvey shit. We telling y'all the real stuff. Like, we telling you the plus things of everything what man wants. Not yeah. always how to catch a man, how to do this. What about the other side of the coin? Yeah. You understand what I mean? What men uh -huh. really want. People always say, oh, what, what do men really want? They don't know what they want. No, that's not true. We know what we want. Yeah. <laughs> we know exactly what we want. Because let me, let me tell you this. I'm sitting right now at my job site at uh, where am I? Ridge and Allegheny. Sitting in my car watching this construction site. Now, I, would, I wonder how many men would be able to pick up the phone and call a female and say to this female, I haven't eaten all day. And have that female bring them a meal. That's what I'm saying. It's the same thing. And this is and this is something that I do a lot. Do things. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and that's what it's about. But do you see how he talked about it? That's because that's the things to us that's impressive. Right? And the thing about what people don't realize is this, like, when you have a female that basically like to do things, it's also important for a man to do things for a female, not just on birthdays, Valentine's Day, Christmas, and all those things. Do stuff out of the ordinary sometimes. Yeah. Because what that does is that make a female say, damn, I never had somebody do this. Or find out what she hasn't done and try to do it and find out what she want done and try to mm -hmm. do it. That way it goes into her memory bank like, damn, I remember he came to the job and just brought roses. And it wasn't yeah. my birthday or anything, because that's the first thing people say is, oh, what is this, your birthday? Is your anniversary? They'd be like, no. No. What, 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 what is it for? Just because. Exactly. Exactly. Just because. And, and, and like I'm saying, so if, if you, the most important thing with communication is listening. You know what I mean? I didn't get on. I mean, I could get on the phone and call and say, "Look, I'm hungry. Can you bring me?" And you know, it would happen. But I didn't get on the phone and say, "I'm hungry. I didn't eat. Can you bring me?" It was a conversation. Yeah. Did you eat today? No, I didn't eat today. Oh, you didn't eat today? No, I didn't eat today. You know what I mean? And we got off the phone. Next thing I know, it's being dropped off. And you know, it's crazy. That's the type of stuff that makes you well. As far as me. That's the type of stuff that's being done for me that no female done before. And it right. makes her valuable. Just like Amen. a man. A man do certain things. Like, I don't play that. If I'm on the side of the car and we great get in the car, you better not touch that doorknob. Exactly. I do don't. certain things that other people don't do that's not normal that make yep. her feel like, damn, this boy valuable. Yeah. And, and I had he, a female, we got in the car and she was like, what's your problem? I said, I ask you not to open the door. That's my job to open that door for you. Oh, no, 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 I got it. And ain't a thing about you having it. That's a, my job is to open that door for you. And make question, sure you're bro. safely in the car. Go ahead. I used to do a lot of things like that for my man and he didn't appreciate it. Do I, I guess that means, do I leave him? Who, who is this? That's uh, Dot. Um, Dot let me say this to you, sweetheart. If you was doing those things for your man and he didn't appreciate it, you had the wrong man. A man is going to appreciate a female for the little things that she does, not the big things, the little things. Okay? Again, like we said, it's about communication. So that's like if you go getting up out of, out of your bed and going out of your way to bring me something. Oh, she I, left him. She said she left him. Oh, okay, I have to appreciate you for that. I have to, because you looked out. You're looking out. You're somebody who I know is going to take care of me and be there for me. You're going to be my ride or die, and you're going to have my back. 
That's right. What's up, Auntie? I got my aunt on all the way from Alabama. She said she liked the hat. Oh, you like the hat? Yeah. You know, I had to rock something, you know. Again, shout out to the brown girls. They gave me a brown boy shirt from New York. Off the I tell, them, I, tell them I want one. Yeah, I'm sure she's going to watch this. You know she get up like 3 in the morning. <laughs> shout, um, out, yo, shout out to all my workers that's been working through all this stuff that's been going on. And for the people that lost a family member real quick to switch gears, um, man, I send my positive energy and love to you. You know, my condolences to everybody that lost somebody during this rough time. They lost somebody anyway, but during this time that lost somebody, make sure y'all wear your mask, wash your hands, protect yourselves. If not for you, for your family, it's very important. Um, again, even if it's not, like they say, oh, this was all a systematic thing. They set it up. It don't matter. It's here. It's killing people. <laughs> so let's pay attention to it. Let's pass on yeah. knowledge. If nurses, doctors, anybody that watched this want to pass on some information, please don't hesitate to hit one of us up. So that way we can try to get you on uh, the radio or on one of our lives or, you know, one of our shows to make sure that we pass on any information that has to do with helping people. Because mm -hmm. that's what we are about. That's what uh, Team Making a Change is about. That's what Sador Radio is about. You know, so just uh, get with us, inbox us, email us, sadorradio at gmail.com. You got any music, you got any business that you would like to promote, get with us, let us know, and we'll try to see what we can do to help you. For everybody that just logged on, you're listening to Mark Fives. Uh, I had to read, comes with maturity. She said comes with maturity, one of our viewers that just jumped. Yes. Out. Hey, Lydia. So... You're listening to Mark Fives, R&B, Soul of a Man, with my co-host tonight, Mr. Simply D from Open Conversation. Make sure y'all check us out tomorrow on Sador Radio and also live from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. with Open Conversation with our partners, Mr. Fastlane and Ms. Darkchild. I'm going to take a quick music break because I know we've been talking for a while. The time is 1220. Damn, we, it, time fly when you're having fun, bro. Ain't <laughs> so I'm going to throw some music on real quick for our radio listeners. For our Facebook viewers, please make sure you go subscribe to the YouTube channel, Sador Radio, or download the free app, Sador Radio, S-A-D-I-O-R Radio, and check us out. Check out all the shows that's on the station. We'll be right back. All right, let me pause this YouTube thing. YouTube, make sure y'all share this broadcast. We'll be right back with part three in one second. 